Hello, people of the internet. It's Jan Beta again with a little follow up to the last video where we built this thing, or rather, I built this thing, which is a USB OTG adapter to connect USB devices to uh, Android um, devices. This video basically is to see what we can do with this uh, because I don't really have a clue what I can connect to the device with this adapter. I know that I can uh, connect USB storage, we tried that in the last video, but yeah, let's try some other things which could be interesting. By the way, what I'm using here, the tablet I'm using, is an old Nexus 7 um, 2012 with the Cyanogen mod 12.1 on it, which is basically a very um, clean version of Android 5.1.1. This uh, tablet, the 2012 Nexus 7, really, really sucks with the um, stock 5.1.1 on it. There is the, the, the usual update available by Google goes to 5.1.1, but the Google version really, really um, slows this thing down. So yeah, I found it barely usable. If you have one of those um, old tablets lying around, you can still use it. Just install Cyanogen mod on it. It's not very hard. There are um, really good um, instructional ins instructions on the on the web. Um, so yeah, it's very satisfying to have this on here and uh, can use it to be able to use it again. Let's try to connect this. It's just the usual USB uh, 2.5 inch hard drive. Let's try and connect this. Does it do something? Yeah, it spins up. I don't really know if it has enough power for a thing like that. I suspect. Yeah, it sounds a bit sick. I suspect you have to get more power. That's why some of the hard disks have this little extra uh, plug here to connect uh, it to a USB port which can deliver some uh, current. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be enough current. Let's see if the hard drive works with um, some external power to it. So I basically, um, this is the second try, I tried with one of these uh, power bricks we saw before. Yeah, it's, I think it's spinning a bit. Yeah, it seems that the USB thing did work. Yeah, and there we have it, the USB storage. Yeah, this is the German version, I'm sorry. But basically we have um, movies on here. <laughs> and yeah, we can basically watch movies from this hard disk we connected. Um, the, the internal um, power supply wasn't enough apparently, but with an external supply, this works a treat. The hard disk works. The USB stick works anyway, so we don't have to try that again. This The USB stick also worked without external power. Let's try something more special, I think. How about a keyboard? So, what I have here <laughs> this re looks really amazing. Um, it's one of those old Apple keyboards, the big version apparently. Um, so let's see if we can connect that to the OTG adapter. And be able to type. And let's see. Hmm. 
Yeah, this uh, seems to work quite well. So let's up it a notch and try to connect something to the USB hub that this Apple keyboards have on the back. And I don't know what you are thinking, but I'm thinking mouse. So let's see. So now I'm connecting the mouse to the USB hub here. And yeah, the LED light lit up. And what we can see now, look at this. I don't know if you can see it properly. There is a little pointer that's moving with the mouse. Yeah, apparently Android has a little pointer built in. Great stuff. Let's see if we can click on here. Yeah, and we should be able to use this tablet uh, with the mouse and the keyboard which is in some situations really, really handy, I guess. Let's see. Let's just Google. I Google myself. <laughs> yeah. It's just for demonstration purposes, not that I'm... Uh, yeah, beta, beta, beta. Yeah, maybe I, I really suck at uh, being Googleable, I guess. Oh, no, look at that. There's one, one of my videos. All right. Yeah, let's try to connect something else. What about something like this? The younger of you uh, won't really know this, so I'll explain. This is called a joystick. Um, the old farts, like me, used to use these to uh, control computer games. Yeah, so let's try if we can use this for, th for something. To try this out, I have prepared the little um, C64MU, which is an emulator of the Commodore 64 home computer. Yeah, it's a classic home computer of the 1980s and uh, way into the 90s, actually one of the best-selling computers ever and a really nice one. I owned one in the 90s, I guess, in the beginning of the 90s. Um, so yeah, let's fire up a game and see if this works. So this seems to work out of the box, I guess. Let's see. Yeah. This game, by the way, is Giant Sisters, and um, I used to be quite good with it, but yeah. I think I've lost some skills. Um, I link in this emulator below, I guess, because I really like it and it's really, I think it's 4 99 or something. And if you enjoyed the Commodore stuff, this is really the emulator to go to. It's the best thing I tested and I'm quite into those uh, re retro games. So yeah, actually, I'm not bad, am I? <laughs> Just, yeah, I played this when I was a kid. Die, you scum. Let's try a thing like this, which some of you might recognize. It also says, uh, yeah, it also says what it is. It's a Super Nintendo controller. It is, this is an original one, plugged into one of those adapters. This is one where you can uh, plug two of those controllers in, which are, yeah, you get them from everywhere nowadays, from Amazon and eBay and stuff like that. Let's plug this thing in and see. For demonstration purposes, let's use um, another emulator by the same author as the Commodore emulator we just saw. Um, 
Yeah, basically. Maybe. Yeah, this even works in the menu. Ah, that's so nice. These emulators are, are a good thing, I guess. I don't know if it works with everything. But... Yeah, here it seems to work. So let's see. Let's start at the beginning. Um, by the way, I really, really, really suck hard at Super Mario. I'm not a Nintendo kid at all. When I was a kid, I owned a Commodore and I never owned a Nintendo. Never ever. The only um, console game, gaming console I ever owned was the PS2, I guess. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it works. That's quite a good use for this OTG thing. So you could use it on um, if you're traveling or something. You just um, get out your NES controller and yeah, that's a good idea, I guess. And yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad at all. Isn't there some... No, it's in the next one. So let's see what else we can do, maybe. Let's get back to some more serious stuff. This is a really crusty external CD-ROM drive. So yeah, let's see if we can connect this CD drive Maybe even with the CD in it. My old Windows XP CD. I'll have to do. So yeah, I'm inserting the CD. Yeah, it sounds a bit like the same problem we had. Uh, no, this doesn't seem to work. It seems to have too little power to really fire up the CD. And before I break it, I much rather disconnect it. It's my Windows XP CD, mind you. Yeah, that's, I guess, that's about it. I really like the fact that the the gaming stuff, uh, the controllers worked with this. I can't guarantee that it works with other software, but it at least worked with the emulators, which I'll link in below in the in the video description. So um, yeah, check that out. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with what I found. My little cable here still works, and yeah, just wanted to share this. Um, so now you know what devices work with um, USB OTG. If you have comments about this or ideas what else I can try, um, just post them in the comment section below. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to support me a bit, you can also donate. You can uh, subscribe to my channel. Links are below in the video description and on my channel page, which you can reach by clicking on my little Jan Beta logo in the corner here. So, yeah, thanks for watching, basically. See you next time. I'm Jan Beta. Goodbye. <laughs>